Hey, everybody, what's going on? Uh, so listen, I'm going to talk to you about overthinking issues. Okay, overthinking this business. This is so important. I, I can't emphasize this enough. So many people I talk to, you know, they're, they're sitting around, you know. I, I, look, I've been there. I know. I used to live on my car. My car had a 1974 Delta 88 Oldsmobile. You know what that looks like? The 455 uh, engine in there. Google, right now. Hit pause, Google, 1974 Delta 88 Oldsmobile, and then add in brown. That's what, I, that's what I was living. I used to live out of the back of that car. So I understand. I, I get it. You're broke, unemployed in Greenland, like uh, with Andre the Giant there in the Princess Bride. I mean, hey, you've been there. Your life sucks. Maybe you're probably there right now. So you're watching this video. Okay? You have no money. Life sucks, et cetera. You know, maybe you're living out of 1974 Delta 88, Oldsmobile like I was. Okay? I, I, fine. I, I, I understand. I, I'm, I've been there, my friend. And, you know, have a pint for me when you can afford it, you know? Okay, so you're there. Your life sucks, okay? And you're, you know, you go to a library, you got no money, but they have internet, free internet. You're surfing the internet or you have a phone, free phone, you know, whatever. So you're, you're on TikTok or you, you're watching YouTube videos or Facebook videos. Or you see some guy, hey, man, you've been there. You have no money, no credit, no job. You know, come on here. You start making whole, doing wholesale deals, you make 40 grand a month, and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, shit, man. You know, maybe you don't say shit, but you'll say, you know, man, I, you know, wow, you know, I'm, I'm living out of my car, and I'm, you know, I have all these problems. I'm, I'm being dramatic. Maybe you don't live out of your car, maybe you just, you're, you're working, you know, you're having a hard time in life. You're living in your parents' basement or something in Omaha, Nebraska or something. Okay. So, you know, you know, like Omaha, Nebraska is a bad place. If you live in Omaha, Nebraska, my grandma's from Council Bluffs across, across the river. But anyway, I digress. The point being, you're having a hard time in life, right? And you watch these videos, and you're like, man, I want to better myself. Wow, these guys, you know, they're really successful, and they're telling me these strategies I never even thought about. Wow, I want to make some money, right? So you start digging into it, you're researching it, you're talking to people. And you, you maybe you buy a course, or you hire a mentor, or you, 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 you buy a book, you know, or something, and, and you're reading them about this, and they're telling you all these strategies, and you're like, oh my gosh, I actually, if I, if I, if I solve somebody's problem, I listen to, you know, I listen to what their situation is, and I, I saw that I could do not just a wholesale deal, but I could do maybe potentially a lease with an option to purchase, or I could do a buying the property subject to the existing mortgage, or I could do an administrative lot split, or I could, you know, do an owner carry, all these things. And you start doing the math and you're like, oh my gosh, I if I did this, if I do exactly what this guy's telling me to do, I, I could make like 30, 40,000 bucks. Oh my gosh, uh, like forty thousand dollars. I don't even, I've never even seen that much kind of money in my life. What am I gonna do with that? Oh, oh I mean, oh, forty thousand. And then you start overthinking it. What happens if blah blah blah? There's all these problems and other than this and that. And I'm on the hook and for forty thousand bucks and blah blah. Or you might think, yeah, well, it all works good, but what happens if it doesn't work or what kind of tax? I had a guy tell me one time, I was telling him all these issues. I won't name who it was. Love a guy. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I tell him, hey, you do these strategies. You know what he tells me? You know how much taxes you're going to have to pay on that kind of money? Yeah. You're going to have to pay, I mean, you, death and taxes, right? There's you know, a movie in the 90s about that, death and taxes. Brad Pitt, uh, he was in it. But <laughs> Mr. Black, was it? Anyway, I'll have to Google that, Google that one. The, 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 anyways, who cares? Why are we talking about the nineties? We're not in the nineties anymore. That's two thousand twenty-one. All right. Anyway, listen to me. So you know, the point being, uh, this cat's reaction was, "Yeah, you're making all this money, but you know how much taxes you'll pay." Sure. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay taxes. So the what's what what's what are you tell me? Don't make money, so you won't pay taxes. That's the solution. You see, don't make money. What you need to do is get on food stamps and start working at McDonald's, and then your life's fine. I mean, is that what you want? 
That's security right there. Food stamps and work at McDonald's because you got to study nine to five. It may, sometimes you may have to work on weekends. At least you get Tuesdays off. Is that what you want? I mean, is that, I mean that's stability right there. Or do you, I mean, this is, look, man, it's risk and reward. Okay. That's the thing. So, why, why am I saying this? I talk to people all the time. They would have made money. They would have made money. They, they're broke. They're living out of the 1974 Delta Hills <laughs> like I was. The proverbial, proverbial, you know, she's, right? My man, 68 Cadillac, okay? All right, you get my point. Your life sucks. Hey, man, you're not alone. Everyone watches videos is going to tell you their life sucks, probably. Okay? And as a successful person watching these videos, probably not because they don't need to, right? These are for people whose life suck and they'll have a better life, right? That makes sense. Your life probably sucks right now. I've been there, and that's why I made these videos because I I know what it like. I know what it means to have your life that sucks. Okay, I get that. So my point is this: you got a sucky life. I've had one too, but you can make it better. But here's the thing: you cannot be your own worst enemy. Don't overthink this. Yeah, but if I do a wholesale deal and blah blah, blah I get this house on a contract. What if I can't find a buyer now? I want the hook for the blah blah. Can I, can I ask you a question? You think anyone in the world has ever considered the same question you're asking right now? Notice the pause. I'm wanting you to think about this. I'm going to pause a little bit longer. Hmm. You think anyone else has ever considered that? Of course. Of course people have thought that. And people have made a lot of money in this business because they've Thought about that objection, the problem, and they there's a solution for it. I talked to this one of my mentees today. She's, she's a wonderful gal, and we're talking about some potential lease options issues. And she was so concerned about what if she couldn't make the payments. Oh my gosh, this, I can't even do it. I'm just not going to do this. I'm not being scornful, but I'm like, there's a solution to this. What you're asking is a very valid concern. There's a, a valid point. But there's a, a solution to this, okay? The point is this. When there's an ob objection, if you want to be successful, you listen to me. If you want to be successful in real estate, you have to be good. You can't overthink this. You have to be good at coming up with a solution. If your worldview is this, you can't do it. It won't work. I think it's illegal. I wouldn't do it if I were you. I'm kind of scared. I'm really skeptical. I don't think that's going to work. You know, I, I just, I heard a bunch of bad stuff. If that, if that's your worldview, can't do it, won't work, well, all that kind of crap. It's illegal. How many times have I heard that? All right, see, I can't do that. Look, man, if you look hard enough, everything's illegal. You get married's illegal, probably, right? You can't live in fear, okay? I'm not suggesting be illegal, do all this bad. No, if you, that's your takeaway from this video. You're delusional. What I'm simply saying is this. There are legitimate problems you have to overcome. Okay? So you, you, over, you have a problem, and you have two choices. One, you can say, you know, that problem's too hard. I can't deal with this. Okay? Or two... Man, this, this is a challenging problem. How could, how could, we, but, but, but we have to get through this problem so we can make money. How, how can we do this legally, ethically, in the way to do it right? That's the kind of person you have to be. Okay. You cannot overthink this. Of all the problems that are going to go wrong, right? If you start overthinking everything, you're not going to do nothing. If you don't, if, if, if your problem is overthinking stuff, you might want to get a job as a greeter at Walmart because you know all you have to do is this. Ready? That's what you do. You don't have to overthink anything. Some dude walks into Walmart. You know, you know what you do? Hey, welcome to Walmart. How you doing? That's all I gotta do. Okay. You like doing that? Hey, welcome to Walmart. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> That's your life, and you're gonna make how much? How much you make doing that? Fifteen bucks an hour. Fifteen bucks an hour. Don't worry, you know, extended dental insurance after five years of, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, right? If you overthink this, be like my friend, hi, well, you know how much taxes you're going to make? 
and you're, you're losing it, right? Don't let these objections get in your way. Okay, you can do this, all right? If you have any questions you want to do, have a free consultation, give me a call. I'm here for you, okay? Uh, and, and, and schedule a free appointment down there. Hutchinson, you can do this. Be, be blessed.